I've never done anything quite like this before, so it's completely out of my comfort zone. I don't want to create a portrait where she sees herself as like ugly or different. It's not a part of my body that I normally show. Showing it to someone that I don't know will be scary for me. So when you're ready, if you take your gown off. I was injured when I was about one and a half years old and I was uh, burnt with really hot water. My scars cover half my face, my left hand, my left shoulder, most of my back and my chest. Sometimes I feel quite held back by the need to explain what happened to me. I think because my story can be quite difficult, I've just realised that I just have to say I got injured. As a teenager, I struggled quite a bit with just finding who I was and how other people saw me. Good luck. I'm hoping that by getting the portrait done, I'll be able to see myself in a different light. I feel like this is part of my journey of regaining my confidence. I don't usually create a painting or a piece in such a small time scale. Usually I've got a bit longer to work on it. Um, and so it'll be a bit of a challenge. I'm excited, nervous, we'll see how it gets. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, come on in. Thank you. Come on in. So this is my den. Okay, so when you're ready, if you take your gown off. Is your hair naturally that colour or did you dye it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's so nice. It's like it. light blonde naturally. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to like briefly sketch the outline of, okay. of your figure. How was it when you went to school? Like, were the other kids like accepting towards your scars or like... Was it a difficult time for you? I think what I definitely found hard growing up was having to validate it to other people. I think I struggled with the battle of, well, do I need to tell them? Or can they just accept the fact that I have a scar that's part of me and who I am? What have people's reactions been like? I went on holiday with a friend and so she was just putting a bit of sun cream on my back and a lady walked past and said that I should uh, cover up because nobody wanted to look at it, which I think was quite hard. It kind of shocked me because I wasn't quite ready for that. And I think I went from being quite a confident, happy, chirpy like child to like just suddenly losing all of my confidence. I felt really low, I was insecure and I just I didn't want to have anything to do with anybody. Was there like a particular point in your life when things turned around for you? Um, so I think I spent a lot of time in hospital from a really young age. For me, the team at the hospital became quite like family. When I got adopted, it was actually my play specialist that adopted me. So she had been there like all the way through, met me the first day I came in, and I was actually one of her first patients. And I think my parents have always encouraged me to do things. So that instead of just giving up, was like actually, if I want stuff to change, I'm going to be the one that has to start doing it. I usually use Instagram, but that's only been in the last six to nine months, really. It gave me the opportunity to restart and I could be who I wanted to be. And it's definitely meant that I can share pictures of me doing normal things with normal people to highlight the fact that just because I have a scar, it doesn't mean that I'm living life particularly different to any other 20 year old. Tara, I think that we're done with today. Um, we've done a good few hours. 
So I'll be working on this tonight and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'm a bit nervous about the reveal tomorrow. Um, Pi's other works are really cool, but they're really big and bold. Um, and so I can't really picture what I'm going to look like at all. So I'm excited, but a bit nervous as well. I've tried to get a lot of youthfulness and playfulness within it, like bringing some bright colors through to capture that nice like energy that I got off from Tara. I don't have a lot of time till Tara gets here, so obviously I want her to love it. And she's never had a painting done of her scars before, and so of course I'm nervous. I'm quite nervous to see how I look through someone else's eyes and to see how she's done it. I'm definitely really excited, but there are definitely like nerves mixed in there. See you again. Morning. Okay. How are you feeling? I was all right till I got a bit nervous now, yeah. but yeah. I'm excited. Well, I'm nervous as well. Let's go have a look. Oh wow! Wow, that's amazing. Do you like it? Yeah. To see that someone has looked at me and come up with something so amazing, it's just really special. Oh, oh I'm so glad you like it. It's amazing, thank you. Okay, I'm so happy that you like it. I think it's just brilliant. I'm definitely proud of myself, like, I think it really represents how far I've come and to anyone that feels different in some sort of way, you should be proud of that. Keep going with what you're doing and do more exciting things and push yourself because the sky's the limit.